All right, 25 minutes before 10 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Wednesday morning. If you are looking for a good job, then you might want to go to Career Source. I said this this morning. Laura Burns is here uh, twice a month or so to talk to us about some jobs that they have um, over at Career Source. And I said it this morning, Laura. I said, you can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make him drink. So if you need a job, don't blame us because we're giving you all the information you need. Uh, go to careersourceclm.com. CLM stands for Citrus Levy Marion, which means it's right here. You got good jobs in your own backyard. And Laura is here to tell us about some right now. Good morning, Laura. Good morning to you. How is everything in your world? It's not bad. Um, you know, it's Wednesday. So do, do you like the idea that we have rain every afternoon? This I is, do. I think Donald Trump made this happen every every <laughs> afternoon. As long as I'm, I don't have to travel in it. If I'm, in that's the me office, too. Then come on, rain. You like looking out the window at the rain? I don't have a window in my office. I wish I did. Oh my gosh! Yeah. What do you have to do to get a window? Uh, reconstruct the building. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to happen, but that's okay. That's okay. We don't have a window in our office either, come to think of it. Just, no. We work in here most of the day, though, so this yeah, is kind of like set. our office. You're yeah. set. But a lot of people do have windows, and I just go visit them in their office. So oh, really? I'm okay. Do they yeah. know you're in there for the window and not for them? <laughs> they do now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really care about you. I just want to be able to look outside. Exactly. Look out the window. Look out the window. Anyway. So what, what do we have on the schedule today? Well, I, I, uh, we have uh, Jennifer Lewis and Yvonne Roach. Did I pronounce that correctly? Mm -hmm. And they're with Cardinal LG, that is a division of Cardinal Glass Industries. I'm going to let them talk about the company and their uh, current openings. But before I do, you know, I've got to talk a little bit about some upcoming hiring events and some workshops for the career seeker side. And I'm very excited. We have retooled our workshops uh, and reintroduced them. We've added some new ones, and uh, I think I think this arrangement is going to be great. Today, going on at 10, so it's too late to jump on this one for today, but we'll have it again next month. Soft skills for 21st century work success. That is a critical, critical area. The uh, the school system is put has sent circulated a soft skills survey. We've partnered with them. CEP has partnered with them to get the word out. If you're an employer and you've got that survey in your inbox, please let us know what soft skills you find to be the most important for your industry. But we have a workshop so that on the career seeker side, they will also know that. Um, on July 26, social media for 21st century work success. Uh, that is critical. Please don't think that Facebook, LinkedIn, all those things are just something the millennials are doing. Uh, Probably they aren't doing it Facebook anymore. <laughs> but uh, as a career seeker, That's what I noticed too, yeah. yeah. Yeah, as a career seeker, you need to be able to understand the importance of social media and leverage it to your benefit. Also, that same day, the 26th, we have Nail That Interview and Workforce Communication Skills for ESL Learners. All of these workshops, by the way, take place at our Ocala Career Center um, on August 2nd, Targeted Resume. And on August 9th, navigating today's world of work. And then we'll round it back up uh, August 16th, soft skills again. And on the 17th, tips for federal jobs. You can find all this on our calendar of events at careersourceclm.com. And then very briefly, because I mentioned hiring events, we have some additional ones. T uh, on the 20th, the 25th and the 27th, Resource manufacturing uh, is looking for seasonal production associates, and that takes place from 9 to 1, again, at our Career Center in Ocala. CD staffing, they're looking for forklift drivers, trust builders, landscapers, laborers, machine operators, and they are having a hiring event also, I believe that's on the 20th, well, great. I didn't write the date down, but it's on our calendar so you can find <laughs> it. But they're having a hiring event as well. So that's kind of recapping uh, some of the events coming up and workshops. And without further ado, Cardinal Glass. All right. Uh, again, ladies, nice to have you with me, uh, with us. Thank you. Jennifer Lewis, did that's I say your me. name right, Jennifer? Mm -hmm. And Yvonne Roach, yes, is that right? Well, I thank you for coming in. So you were telling, before we went on there, you were telling us about laminated glass, what it is. <laughs> So let's let's talk about that a little bit. And so you manufacture laminated glass? Laminated glass and insulated glass. 
and those uh, glass units are um, sold to our customers who then are manufacturers themselves and uh, they use our glass units for windows and doors for both residential and commercial uh, projects. And insulated, does it insulate against sound as well as uh, temperature? Um, insulated uh, for various things in terms of, uh, you know, um, hurricane resistance, oh, and also energy oh, okay, efficiencies. Okay. Yes. Because we could use some insulated glass right here for sound. <laughs> when, when, when the leaf blower is out here, we can hear him. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> so, so what you actually put, is there a plastic coating on the glass? Is that, I'm trying to imagine what you're doing. Um, uh, there are different... Um, coatings that go onto the glass oh, yes wow. so. it's amazing who knew this was even in ocala <laughs> and what do you do and then you ship the glass all over the country or all, all over um, the world our customers are here in central florida to south florida in fact um custom windows which is here in ocala is one of our customers and they're right next door to us and this would be so important in florida with uh hurricanes and, the, and, and just strong winds yes in general our, yes our units work as a system with our uh, our customers windows and doors and so they are they meet the building codes of Miami-Dade and also Florida building codes okay. in terms of hurricane resistance. Wow I mm -hmm. never even knew and, and how long have you been around? Um, Not you Cardinal, but the company. <laughs> <laughs> Cardinal Glass Industries has been in business since 1962. Wow. Yes and it's a national. Have you company. always been here in Ocala? Um, the plant opened in August of 2006. Okay. okay. So the company has been in business um, since 1962. Uh, we now, in terms of an entire company, there are 6,000 employees. 6,000 employees? Yes. And there are about 40 um, facilities throughout the country. Wow. Mm -hmm. How and many at the facility in Ocala? 460. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Who knew? Yeah. And what, and what, do you, what are your jobs? What is your job? Um, I am the human resources manager. That Jen. makes sense. I'm the human resource specialist. So you do. So you are basically looking for talent, yes, right? That's yes, what are. we call yeah. workers these days, talent. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so what? What kind of jobs are available? What What would I do if I am I too old? Can I come by and, and sure, come by anytime. Work. Um, I could drive a forklift. Do you have a forklift? <laughs> I, we I, have I, forklifts. I, yes, actually, we have we have a lot of machines in the in the whole facility. So, um, currently, we are recruiting for glass handlers. So there are general production workers that do the primary uh, work within the plant. Um, we are recruiting for industrial maintenance technicians, um, and also we have wow. a summer hire program um, for college students, maybe people that work at the school board that just need, or the school system in general that just need summer work. Nice. Um, so we are oh, really? So recruiting. you have a temporary position open right now? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Wow, could yes. could that lead to a full-time position? Yes, it can. If the positions become available, absolutely. How big is the glass? Um, our largest um, unit that we get in is 104 inches by 104. Uh, let's see, 108 inches by 144 inches. I'm trying to imagine how big yeah, that is. Yeah, I know. Is it bigger than this one, <laughs> it's Linda? Pretty, it's, it's 12, pretty big. It's 12 oh, by... Right. Thank you. We think like, maybe 8. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's yeah. pretty big. And, and where do they normally end up? On, on high-rise buildings or on people's homes? Um, they can be, yes, it can be commercial, but it also can be from the, um, you know, the affordable home to a very opulent home. And if people have like a, a carpentry business and they design cabinets and doors and uh, window frames and things, then they call you and tell you what it's for and give you the measurements and then that's what you do and ship it to them or or do they ship you their product and you install it and then ship it back that way um it could possibly work that way you know that would be a, one of the a manufacturing type of facility and yes they would call in and place an order and uh, we would we do we customize our our units to whatever the customer needs all right, that is neat. Laura, we are up against a little break, so let's take that break real quickly. We'll be right back. Uh, Laura Burns is here from Career Source. There are some job opportunities right here in Ocala. Many, many job opportunities. Right now, we're speaking specifically about some job opportunities at Cardinal LG. That's what you call yes. the, the company, which is, stands for Laminated Glass. Fascinating. Who knew this was in Ocala? <laughs> uh, well, 460 people apparently knew about it, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> all right, all right we'll, we'll be right back. 
The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. On this Wednesday, times of sun and clouds with a shower or heavy thunderstorm around during the afternoon and evening hours. The high 88 to 92. Then later Wednesday night, partly cloudy. Low 72 to 76. Thursday, intervals of clouds and sunshine with a shower and heavy thunderstorm around. Mainly at the coast in the morning hours, in the afternoon across the interior, the high 87 to 91. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. Hi, this is Becky at Hello Gorgeous Salon. Let's get rid of those sun damaged ends and faded out color and get into something rich and vibrant. It's time to get that new look started. So call today and set up your appointment at Hello Gorgeous Salon, 351-5358. Hello Gorgeous is a certified Brazilian blowout salon. We can tame those locks, leaving your hair healthy and shiny with a Brazilian smoothing treatment. And whether you're going on a job interview or out on a date, your hands do a lot of talking. Manicures are a must. Hello Gorgeous is a full service salon, so let us help you make a great first impression. Call us today to set your appointment at Hello Gorgeous. Our number is 352-351-5358. Again, that's 352-351-5358. Hello Gorgeous is conveniently located in the heart of downtown Ocala, right next to the historic Marion Theater. And don't forget, we also do men and children's cuts too. Hello Gorgeous. We all know that sound means there's gonna be some need for collision repair work and soon. What you may not know is that it's your choice where to have that collision work done, not the other guy's insurance company. Because your vehicle is much more than just transportation. It's like a family member. So don't bring it to just any chain collision center. Bring it to Lyle's Collision Service. When it comes to getting your vehicle back to 100%, you can count on Lyle's Collision Service. They're not some fly-by-night chain company. They're a family-owned and run collision center with over 33 years of experience. Working with collision repairs and vehicle restoration, Lyle's Collision only uses quality parts and doesn't take shortcuts like some other companies. They take pride in getting the job done right and in a timely manner. They specialize in insurance claims and they strive to get your vehicle back to you as soon as possible. So the next time you hear this, remember, it's your choice. And the choice is clear. Lyle's Collision Service. All right, 12 minutes before 10 o'clock. Thank you. One day I will play the Roach Sisters for you. You okay. would love them. They okay. are really good. Uh, all right. In, 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 the, in the studio, Laura Burns is here from Career Source. Citrus Levy Marion. I, I say it again and again and again, CareerSourceCLM.com. If you're looking for a job, you do not need to go far. We have them right here in Citrus, Levy, and Marion Counties. A uh, good example right now in the studio uh, from Cardinal LG, which stands for Cardinal Laminated Glass, Jennifer Lewis and Yvonne Roach talking to us about the job opportunities. And Larry, b before uh, we... we go much further I just want to mention to anyone who's listening or watching if you are interested in learning more about these career opportunities and how to apply you go to our website careersourceclm.com and go to the news tab at the top and you'll see when you click on it one of the options is the WOCA employer showcase you click on that and you will see the uh, Cardinal uh, LG jobs and how to apply right there so it gives you all the information you need the links the job orders the job titles everything so that's the the, the place to go so don't don't go to their office and knock on their door and say we want to apply for a job yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah go through the go through the the right channels so yeah, use the protocol you know what i wanted to ask you during the break i was kind of reminiscing about an early job in my life working at a plastics factory so is the culture is it factory like what is it like in there what um, I'm guessing things have changed since the 1970s, right? <laughs> oh, well, yes, I would imagine yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's definitely a manufacturing environment. Um, and we have automation in terms of, I mean, imagine the size of the glass. Yeah, really? So, <laughs> so we have, you know, these pieces of equipment that move the glass and place it onto, That's amazing. Um, onto the I, tables. And Do you have a lot of breakage or not much? 
Well, it happens. It's yeah, glass. Yeah, yeah. And yes, <laughs> so it, it does happen. But Ooh, our I would hate to be the new guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, our employees wear personal protective equipment. Um, so um, oh, if you can okay. see it, it's almost like they're wearing this entire outfit. When when the employees are working with this raw glass, it's very dangerous. So they're wearing from hard hats to special jackets, um, chaps, and um, gloves, and they have inserts in their gloves. Everything to protect them oh my. from. Wow. Working with the raw glass. When you said chaps, I pictured Gloria as Stefan. I just, <laughs> I always loved her chaps. They were good chaps. Yeah, so, so let, let me ask you something. You mentioned during the break also that this is an opportunity for, like, just out of high school. Yes. One, one again, again, going back to my own youth. One of the best things I got out of working was kind of a, a, yeah, what's acquiring? What's a good word, Laura? The work ethic, mm -hmm. because just getting up and having to go. Uh -huh. During the summer, when I first started, it was uh, it really got me kind of set up for the rest of my life. So. Yes. What what are your hours over there? So we have three different shifts. We have a first, second, and third shift um, mm -hmm. available for employees. Um, so first shift usually runs starts at six or six thirty in the morning and can go to two or three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and then in that interim between that two and three hour second shift will come in kind of a transition period. And the same thing for third shift. Um, and the summer hire specifically, like you said, it's great for. Um, kids straight out of high school, 18 years or older, high school diploma or equivalent to be able to come in and get some real world work experience. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's really hard sometimes to find jobs when you don't have any sort mm -hmm. of work experience, any sort of uh, responsibility to show to employers. And we're more than willing to give that opportunity. Sure. Oh, that's awesome. And, and you did mention the temporary uh, opportunity for somebody who might be off for the summer. Yes. Um, and, and how does that, is there normally like a, I don't know if a contract is the right word, but is there normally an agreement? Look, I can only be here till August. Well, at this point, it's kind of right. late if that's the well, case. Well, and we can still hire someone um, on this temporary basis still, yeah. And we make them aware. Um, and the job is posted and it tells them exactly that it is just for a temporary basis. Really? Mm -hmm. So do you have a busy season? Do you have a time when you can? <laughs> we do have a busy season. Um, it, it seems to pick up sometime at the end of January, February, and then it goes through up to the holidays. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And how about benefits? Do you have benefits for the full-time employees? We do. do. Full-time employees, we have we have a, a full benefit package. We offer uh, health care, health savings accounts, dental insurance, 401k. Um, and then our big benefit draw is we do profit sharing as well. Mm -hmm. um, so that, wow. that's, that's something that um, my understanding is fairly rare in the area. So it, it's a big draw, draw for full-time employees. It, it, it benefits, just benefits, you know, and dental and health and all that. Mm -hmm. That yes. is almost rare anymore. But but at the same time, for somebody entering the job, I, I know from Laura, we don't ask how much you pay, but add, add whatever that's worth to your pay and you're getting way more than the dollar amount seems to make it seem, right? That's Absolutely, what I think. yes, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and, and we're, pretty competitive in our wages as far as what's what's available in production in this area so uh, can I get you just to address because um, I see you on your uh, talking points uh, what you're looking <laughs> for in in an applicant some some basics that you would uh, require uh, for your applicants um, so primary requirement is 18 years or older um, and to have a high school diploma or GED um, for our full-time employees, we are do prefer people with production experience, somebody or somebody that's maybe worked in lawn care or something of that nature, where it's a hot, fast-paced environment. Mm -hmm. um, oh, okay. It would be okay. used to yeah. working. Yeah, in, sure, yeah. In the yes. heat. In, in other words, somebody who's willing to work. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Is <laughs> anybody that's we'll willing sweat. to work? Yeah. Um, so. It, but like like we said with our summer hire position um anybody that doesn't necessarily have experience you know it's a good way to get your foot in the door and they can absolutely turn into full-time positions for good workers and once the if the position is available at the end of their term so it doesn't necessarily have to be somebody that only wants to work part-time or temporary we can bring them in full-time at the end of that period if it works out well and I would also say too that beyond the summer employment um, when we're beyond that point of time if someone doesn't have manufacturing experience or lawn care or 
uh, per, you know, or construction experience, those similarly skilled positions. Uh, we also look at people that maybe they've worked in the food industry and they've made a committed, uh, you know, they work for a committed period of time with their current employer. Right, right. Uh, they have a steady work history. It might be a career change for that person. And so we will give those people an opportunity if we um, have we don't have others that have um, the exact experience we're looking for yeah. so um, it is a, a place of possibilities but the, the person i think with the, with the the already established work ethic is the veteran the, the person who just got out of the military and they are lost. They don't know what to do now. Mm -hmm. I, I think this sounds like a great opportunity. Yes, and our leadership, most of our leadership, they have been in the military from Air Force to Army. Is that right? Uh, we yeah. have a lot of veterans that work um, here at Cardinal. So it's um, very important to us as I love well. The, I love the name. I had some baby Cardinals in my orange tree. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Isn't that amazing? That is. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you work at Cardinal. Now you kind of notice the Cardinal everywhere you go. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Do you have office positions open also? Um, on rare occasion, mm -hmm. we do. I mean, I had the opportunity to create a job um, to assist me in the HR department, mm -hmm. and I was able to hire Jennifer. Um, but... Um, at times like payroll positions. and things like that mm -hmm. so before we are out of time completely if you are looking for a job and this sounds like something you might be interested in gosh if i was younger i, I would jump on this this sounds like a really good one i like this one um and i don't know something about the glass fascinates me mm -hmm. I, I don't know why it's, just it's a does. very fascinating process yes yeah. it is yeah. yeah can uh, you tell just by looking at a pane of glass if it's uh, uh laminated or something like that I don't think we're insulated that yet, but we're getting there. Both we're working on it. Not yet. <laughs> Jennifer and I started last year, so we, we wow. are still learning, and it's so fascinating. Truly. That is awesome. Does the lamination prevent it from breaking? I'm sure they all break, but I mean, easier or something? Is that? Um, the, the tempering uh, portion of the process, uh, that that will be the strengthening part of the So if, the if, if, for example, you're in a hurricane and you have laminated glass as opposed to somebody who doesn't, uh -huh. the one who doesn't, the window would just break through. The other one, the laminated one, sounds like it would be, no? Hold, no, I don't know. I'm just saying, yeah, I mean, that sounds like, <laughs> sounds like a laminated would, would be but, better. I, yeah. I, yeah. Sounds and like I think, it would kind of fall in place instead <laughs> of breaking. Well, and the, the tempering part, that's the part that strengthens the, the glass in mm. terms of, you know, if a projectile wow. hits. And where does the glass come from? Where, did, where is the glass made? Um, our float glass plants are the ones that actually produce the, the, the glass uh, paint. Oh, wow. Yes. I'd love to see that. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So let's give information so uh, those watching either the video or listening to the radio <laughs> broadcast can uh it can go get a job is just how long is the are these jobs open is it just open-ended um let's see the um glass the glass handler that's typically open we usually have a few positions that are open okay um and during our slower uh periods of time at, you know around the holidays we typically don't recruit and then uh, just before the busy season begins we begin filling positions again okay, okay. and then uh, the summer positions uh, we will recruit up to September 1st wow. um, and then the industrial maintenance as soon as they're filled they're filled do you have people wow. that come back every summer they just like the, the summer work yes we do have a, a few people that do come back yes and we welcome them to come back as I well. Sh I should do that. I should do the night shift. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, I can't. I got to be here at three. So, yeah. What time? What time does the night shift go from eleven to seven? Typically, yeah, ten thirty to six thirty. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, uh, you can change your schedule here. Come in at seven. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so, Laura, uh, take us out. We go to careersourceclm.com. That's right. And then you're going to go to the news tab at the top of the uh, homepage. Click on that and you will see the WOCA Employer Showcase uh, is one of the menu selections. You click on that, it takes you right to Cardinal's page and it has information about the company, the job openings, the job order numbers, and how to apply. So we encourage you to do so. Uh, thank you, uh, Laura, for coming in as always. Uh, Jennifer Lewis, nice to meet you. Thank You're you well. for thank coming you. in. And Yvonne Roach, thank you for coming in. Thank you so much. I love, I, I, one of these days, I got to take a tour of some of these places. Joe's she, setting one up, so. Oh, is he? Get oh, in he on is. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Really? Yep. Joe's setting one up. He's, he is. Well, I'll, I'll go with him. It should. <laughs> <laughs> what is he taking? Is he going to get a job over there? <laughs> 
Thank you, thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs> Mall Studios. This is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM.